And here we are for the aftermath of the bash at the beach 2001. And it was a huge success. Our highest rating pay-per-view of the whole year so far. We got 80%. Uh, Scott Steiner retained his world title against Jeff Jarrett. Chris Canyon retained his US title against Shane Helms in a ladder match, although Shane Helms is now injured for about seven months, which is a bummer. Uh, cruiserweight title is still with Lash LaRoe. New TV champ is uh, Mike Awesome still, and the tag titles, new tag champs, and they are totally buff. So, uh, obviously... We're going to kick off the show with just a, a nothing four-way match with the Big Sexy Freaks, Young Dragons, uh, Skipper and Romeo, and also the Dark Side. Then we're going to have an interview with Goldberg laying into Dusty Rhodes and hyping up his match for tonight. Uh, they requested a match together. Uh, Rey Mysterio's left now, so Goldberg hasn't got a feud. And maybe Goldberg and Dusty could feud. But uh, this is keeping Goldberg active, I think. I think we're getting there, getting him a bit happier. If we can get him past 20% morale and work our way up, maybe we can do it. But do we have the time to do that and the patience? Um, I, I'm not so sure. But Rey Mysterio had gone down to nothing. And, you know, there was no reviving Rey Mysterio. So um, I think it was best to let him go. Uh, another requested match in fact, the next two are Hugh Morris and Bam Bam Bigelow and Sean Stasiak, DDP. Uh, we've got an angle here as well, LaRue and Canyon, and LaRue hasn't really appeared much so far, and he was an option to feud with Canyon next. But I was thinking, even though LaRue's recently been promoted up uh, to the top of the card, who do I see as more of a main eventer? And um, I came up with Mike Awesome. So the plan is um, to have LaRue and Canyon fight for the US title tonight. Mike Awesome's going to interfere. And he's going to start feuding with Canyon as a result. Um, Mike Awesome obviously has to lose his TV title if he's going to challenge for the US title. So Lance Storm is going to win the TV title back. A rematch from yesterday, although the cat's not involved. Um, so I think that'll work out quite nicely. And I think if Mike Awesome can make it to the top, it'll be a great main eventer. We've got a stable angle for Rat Pack are expanding and for recently revived Wall, who has been doing good recently after his heel turn, he is going to be revealed as the new member of the Rat Pack. So that includes Shane Douglas, Alex Wright, Disco Inferno, Chris Candido and now for Wall. Lance Storm is going to beat Mike Awesome as we've uh, said. Interview with Kevin Nash, uh, Sour Grapes after his last man standing, lost to Sting at the Bash of the Beach. Uh, Canyon's going to retain his title over Lash LaRoe. Uh, Jeff Jarrett laying into Scott Steiner after his loss. Um, he feels he was hard done by. Scott Steiner won by cheating to retain the title. And then we've got the main event. Goldberg is going to beat Dusty Rhodes cleanly. So for that match between those four i think it was a good uh, good rating to be honest goldberg backstage yeah he always gives a decent segment to be fair a, de a decent interview bam bam bigelow hugh morris it's, it's one of those matches they always do well together but does it warrant a feud probably not laughing mat no laughing matter forget about it one two three canyon larue for fans like that and I hope the fans are going to accept Canyon Awesome um, as much as they would have this feud. I did think about LaRoe, but I just think it could be time for Mike Awesome to really... I think if he feuds with Chris Canyon, he could be elevated into the main event scene after that. And I think he'd be far more credible fighting the likes of Scott Steiner than someone like Lash LaRoe. DDP Sean Stasiak, surprisingly high rating for that one. And DDP's become a bit of a jobber recently, but I'm trying to get him back over with the fans. Uh, Shane Douglas, Rat Pack, that went pretty good, let's see. Shane Douglas has come to the ring, he calls a wall out, from the back comes a wall. I mean, it's a rubbish name for wall, isn't it, really? 
Uh, Shane Douglas says that the time for a decision is now. Is for Wall going to join them or not? For Wall says yes. Shane Douglas welcomes him into the Rat Pack. Now, I've also got a little uh, idea for the filthy animals to expand them to a a, a five five man team, and I think New Jack could possibly fit in well with the likes of Conan and Juventud and. Uh, Chavo and Billy, so that is a possibility as well. Mike Awesome Lad Storm, always a good match between those two. TV title has gained image. Kevin Nash backstage, um, yeah, cool. US titles gained image, and oh, seeing a rating like that makes me think, should I have feuded these two guys? But which of the fans, and I'm trying to keep it sort of relevant to real life as well. What are you going to get most up for? Canyon vs. Lash LaRoe or Canyon vs. Mike Awesome? So, Jeff Jarrett backstage. And for main event, Dusty didn't sell very much. Wow. The crowd was still pumped up from the last one. So this was a letdown. 46%. That is disgraceful. And look at that match quality. I don't think I've ever had a match with as little quality as that. And if I was ever thinking of putting Dusty Rhodes and Goldberg in a feud, I'm certainly not now after that. That is ridiculous. One of the top wrestling companies in the world to put on a main event like that is disgraceful. We've still got a 70% rating and by far, not, it wasn't even close. By 20% the worst segment was that main event and I'm never going to match those two together again after that. It's ridiculous. Let's have a look at Goldberg's morale. Um, well, he has gone up to 19%. Just don't go against Dusty Rhodes. The problem is, the feud in Goldberg with someone, he, he refuses to lose to the majority of the roster. Um, he's a bit cheeky like that. Let's see what the writing staff has to say. Okay. The market is weak. Looking at the stats. Goldberg still wants to leave. Oh, well, never mind. Let's go to Thursday. And have we got any news? No, very little happening at the moment. So we've shown you the morale of uh, some of the guys. Let's have a look at how the feuds are doing. Jeff Jarrett, Scott Steiner, Scott Steiner's winning that one. And I don't want to finish this feud too soon because if Scott Steiner wins, who am I going to feud him against? Or Jeff Jarrett for that matter. Sting has feuded with both guys recently. Does Kevin Nash deserve a feud with uh, for the world title at the moment? Probably not. In fact, definitely not. So... You know, it is so tempting to go on other workers and find Hulk Hogan. You see, Nash doesn't think we should sign him. He doesn't get along, but he would be an absolute huge signing. But he is 48. It is going to be short term. Um, we are building up some of the other uh, stars quite nicely at the minute so it's a very difficult one i mean nash is already unhappy and that's going to send him over the edge and you know nash has got no more to give than hogan so i think if um i think maybe i don't know i'll have to think about it but we have got oh, we're not even that far off august now these months just seem to go when is the next uh, event? Big Bang. 12th of August. Okay. Well, we need to get cracking on with uh, some of this. But obviously the concerns. Nash is alright at the minute. But Goldberg, we need to sort Goldberg out. Um, so I'll let you know what my plans are with him in for next episode. But yeah, Thunder will be the next episode. Not get any matches sorted for it yet. But I will get cracking with it and I'll be with you very soon.